In his proposal, Aaron Cheriot argues that Nairobi State is a focal point for development, headquarters for international organs, and numerous embassies and a strategic hub for business to be left under the management of a governor. Due to its cosmopolitan nature and being a place for all, he argues that the city is distinct from other counties and requires to be managed and planned differently. When you procure, uh, when, when you prescribe uh, local or regional actually problems and you want to say that uh, whatever we are proposing for a county like Kericho or Kisumu should be similar to a county like uh, Nairobi, I think you're getting it all wrong. For this to be realized, the Senator is proposing a constitutional amendment at Article 6 by amending Clause 1 to read the territory of Kenya is divided into the national capital city and the counties. He also proposes a further insertion at Clause 1A to read the national capital city shall be known as Nairobi and shall be the seat of the national government. 1B also to be amended to read the president shall in exercise of the powers conferred upon him appoint for Nairobi capital city a cabinet secretary who shall exercise such powers and perform such functions as may be delegated to the cabinet secretary from time to time by the president. This will make not only a city without representation but also the only territory where taxpayers are not directly represented. If you walk out of uh, parliament today and ask the citizens of Nairobi who live here on a daily basis what are the first what are the five major problems that you continue to face on a daily basis you'll realize that number one they'll talk about traffic they'll talk about security they'll talk about water and these are not needs that can be addressed by uh, a body called uh, a county government the senator is, however, not the first one to come up with such a proposal. In 2016, former Muranga Senator Kempi Gitura also proposed a law to scrap Nairobi County and revert its leadership to the national government. This proposal opened a war front between Jubilee and Cord at the time. Nairobi was then represented by a court governor, and the move was seen as an attempt by Jubilee to reduce the dominance of court in the counties. This proposal is currently awaiting publication. It will then be presented to the House for the first reading. It is said to have been approved by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the Senate. Ken Mijungu, NTV.